Hey it's Teresa. Hope you're doing well today. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that, for those of you that are stopping by, thank you so much for coming uh, for the fall recipes. I wanted to join in the collaboration with uh, Sophia from My Great Challenge and Amber from Authentically Amber. I have been watching Sophia for many years and have learned so many things from her. She's amazing. I get motivated when I watch her. She just and she can cook. She's just I just love her channel. And when she invited everyone, I said, I told her, I have a small cooking channel. I love to cook. It's my passion. I love baking. And I'm from Louisiana. Uh, so I, there's a little Cajun, a little Cajun flair in my recipe sometimes. But anyway, today I'm going to make tamale pie. And I'm going to put my own spin on it. And I'm going to make a homemade cornbread. So I hope you enjoy the uh, video. And I hope you enjoy the recipe. And uh, anyway, thank you so much for being here. Let's get cooking. I'm going to make a... Simple chili, well, it's not that simple when you see all the ingredients, but you can make it simple. But I'm gonna use my Dutch oven. I have a, just a couple, a little couple teaspoons of baking fat that I saved from the end of the day. I'm going to turn my fire on, and I'm gonna use a pound and a half of sirloin. I think it's 90, 10, or 85, 15, but, uh, well, I opened the package so I can't show you, but these are the ingredients I'll be using. Uh, I'm going to show you as I go. That's how I do my videos. Uh, I'll try to measure out the spices. Uh, I kind of uh, taste as I go and I add seasoning as I go until I get it right. But I'm going to be using a can of these beans today. And a lot of people rinse their beans. But this sauce tastes like a chili sauce. So I'm going to leave it like this. So let me heat this up. I'm going to start with my... Onions, I like to use a combination of purple and yellow, or red. Some people call them red. I'm going to show you all the vegetables that I'm going to start sauteing before I put my meat in. I like a lot of vegetables in my chili. I'm going to add a little bit of celery, not much. Just a little bit. You could use your favorite vegetables, or no vegetables if you prefer. Uh, this is uh, This was a frozen red bell pepper. I like it chopped up very fine. I don't I don't use my pepper in all my creations, but uh everyone I like it in certain things. And I like it chopped up very fine. I don't like the peeling. This is uh half of a poblano pepper. I love poblano peppers. The skins don't bother me so much. This uh, this is green onion that I'm saving for later. And this is uh jalapeno that my husband chopped up very fine. So I'm gonna turn my fire on high. And I'm gonna saute this for a minute before I add my meat. So once I get a little color on my vegetables, I will bring you back. And this is some garlic, fresh garlic that I'm gonna be using also. I'll show you the spices. I'll, I'll just show you the spices as I go. I'm gonna use my wooden spoon. And uh, we're gonna finish this off in the oven. So I'm probably gonna need to turn the oven on. I'm gonna put it on 400. Bake. And uh, anyway, so this, I hope you can see the pot really well. This is what I'm working with so far. And uh, like I said, I'll bring you back. I love the color on that, on those vegetables. I like to get a little bit of brown on the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead. I'll turn my fire down just a pinch. Oh, and I did put a sprinkle of salt on the vegetables. It kind of helps sweat them out. So I'm gonna add my ground meat. Now you can break this up as much as you like. You can leave it in uh, bigger chunks. It's totally up to you. I like to break mine up pretty fine. And I'll tell you, I got that a neat tool. I'm sure you've seen it before, but these really work well. It's a lot quicker than using your spoon. Now, a lot of people add corn in their chili, but I think I'm going to add some to my cornbread or maybe to my chili. I'm not sure. I'm kind of like dumping kind of like just make up stuff as that go along. I just love to cook that way. I find it it's fun to experiment. Mm. And it's also fun to keep things simple a lot, a lot of times. A lot of people add corn to their chili or, or you could put black beans, pinto beans, whatever your favorite bean is. And uh, I'm only going to put one can, but uh, if I was making regular chili, I'd probably be putting two or three cans. I want this to be a little bit meatier. The only thing is, you gotta clean these off. So it breaks it up. Oh, I just threw some. Breaks it up pretty well. You wanna keep stirring. There's not gonna be 
any fat to drain from this ground sirloin. So let me brown this. And then uh, once you get the little brown, we'll start seasoning a little bit on it. Made my meat cook a little bit faster. I forgot to add my garlic, so I'm gonna add. Now, we like a lot of garlic, so we tend to add a lot. Now, I don't know, it's probably gonna be about, about either three large cloves or like four small ones. I chopped it up as fine as I could. I'm gonna add a sprinkle of this, not too much. I just like the little bit of uh, red pepper in here. Let's get this a stir so my garlic can cook. I'll turn off my heat down a little bit. I got some brown at the bottom. We'll, we want to deglaze that in a minute. But you can see my vegetables cooked really nice. Please. It's going to be so good. I'm very excited. Okay. Now. I'm going to add, this is one of our favorites. It's roasted garlic powder. And I may have to adjust this. At the, you know, at, as I go, this is a little onion powder. I mean, and you kind of season to your own taste. I don't really measure. And a little smoked paprika. I think it adds a really nice touch to your mixing dishes. I'm going to add a little healthy spoon to that. Help not spoon, but <laughs> dash. Now watch Sophia's beef burger now. This looks so good. This is cumin. Now I'm going to take my lid off. I'm going to measure this one. These are these little spoons. I got these from Vic, my best friend Vicky at Vicky's Country Home. She has a channel. She's a very, very good cook too. I'm gonna to put two teaspoons of this to start. I may measure my uh, chili powder as well. And I'm just gonna use this. I have some Chipotle chili powder, but I'm not familiar with it yet. So I'm gonna go, oh, look what I did. So I'm gonna go too fast. I'm gonna skip that today. I'm gonna add a little bit more. This one's gonna give it a stir. And you want those brown bits at the bottom. It adds a lot of flavor. But you also don't want it to burn, so. I like the color that the smoked pepper gives it. And it does give it a, a nice subtle flavor. So this is just plain chili powder. And this is the wrong spoon. So I'm just going to probably put about two tablespoons of that. And this is not spicy. And one of my very favorite spices is the uh, dried oregano. I absolutely love that. So that's probably about a teaspoon. And one that I just started using is a little brown coriander. I'm going to deglaze this in a second. Now this is really beginning to smell like chili. My goal here is to make a chili, but make it pretty thick. I don't want it to be a runny chili. Cause it's kind of like a casserole bake. I better get moving. Let's put a little, little coriander. I'm just gonna put just a couple of sprinkles of that. Okay, and now I'm gonna put a little salt. This is kosher salt. I always use kosher salt, my favorite salt. And I always use cracked black pepper. It's my absolute favorite pepper. We also use pink Himalayan salt. And sea salt. I keep forgetting about the sea salt. We have uh, this one. I keep forgetting about this one. Okay, let's get another stir. Oh yeah, we have to put some water in here now. But I'm gonna add a little bit of tomato paste. And I like to get the two, because when I open a can, it seems like I never finish the can. And then I'll forget about it in the freezer. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of the uh, tomato paste. This is a very good brand as well. And you just keep it in the fridge. Let's give that a stir. You wanna cook that a little bit. You wanna get that raw taste out. And I'll tell you another ingredient that wouldn't be bad is just a tiny, tiny squirt of ketchup, which I might add as I go, we'll see. Okay, so now we need to add some tomatoes. And I'm going to add 
You could add rotel, any kind of tomato you want. I'm gonna add just these fire roasted garlic tomatoes. And they're pretty chunky. And you're gonna, you're gonna add a little bit of water. Oh, I'm gonna add a little bit of tomato sauce too. Let me turn my fire down some more. Let's add a little water to deglaze our pot. We're gonna put this down. It'll give it more flavor if you let it simmer just a little while, but it, you don't have to. It's, some people like to simmer their chili for a very long time. But I don't think you have to for this recipe because we're going to add so much flavor that it won't have to. See, I kind of like this consistency here. I'm going to... Uh-oh. You might want to wear an apron, too, if you're like me, always in a hurry. Now, the people that are not used to watching me and the people that are used to watching me know that I'm always in a hurry. I talk a lot and talk very fast, so I hope all the new people don't mind. Uh, I like to explain as I go. We still have to mix the cornbread. Now let's add a can of diced green chilies. These are not spicy as well. Some people find them spicy. These are totally optional. And I'll tell you another thing. You could also just put the green chilies in your cornbread if you wanted to. I'm going to add the beans. They have a little little liquid in them. I also like the chili beans. Those are those are good too. They have a good flavor. I was gonna add a chipotle and adobe sauce, but I didn't because I already put jalapenos. I'm gonna add some of this. I'm not gonna, this is just plain tomato sauce. Oh, and I forgot my favorite. A little dash of my Worcestershire. That's how I say it. You gotta add a little dash of that anytime you cook brown meat, I think. Or beef. That looks really hearty. Okay, I'm going to let this simmer for a little while and then clean up my mess a little. And uh, then we'll give it a little taste test and see if we need to add or take away or do whatever we okay, need well, to do. I, I tasted it and also I got a, a second opinion. It, um, this is what I'm going to do. It needs a touch of salt. And don't, the, the cornbread's going to have cheese in it, so I don't want to put too, too much. And it is simmering a little hard, so you want to make sure you stir it. Now, I'm also going to add just a pinch of sugar. I need a spoon. Don't mind my drawer. Sorry about that noise. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon. Uh, not, not quite the whole thing. That was about uh, three-fourths of a teaspoon. I always believe that you just Taste as you go, and, and you'll achieve the flavors that you're looking for. Now, I already, I've cooked chili, with chili powder and cumin quite a bit, so I kind of knew how much to add for that. Those flavors are, are spot on. Some people like more, some people like less. Um, so basically, I'll tell you, I'm gonna add one more thing. Yeah. This is some, I buy the uh, green giant, it's called Extra Sweet corn on the cob and I had some left over so I cut it off the cob and I'm going to put it in here I'm going to try to break it up a little bit with my hand and my hands are impeccably clean but this is going to add a little touch of sweetness as well and I love corn any kind of way I'm going I'm going to turn my fire off now and we're going to give it a little stir and that's you could make it thicker or thinner. It's up to you. This is just kind of, I'm pleased with this one. I think it's gonna work out just fine. So I'm gonna let this cool for a minute and then we're gonna mix the cornbread and get this baked the cornbread. Now, to be honest with you, this is like kind of a combination of a, of a few recipes, but I'm using Martha White self-rising cornmeal, self-rising white cornmeal, something like that. But it's where you don't have to add baking powder, baking soda. And it calls for milk, but I'm gonna use uh, buttermilk. This is my favorite. So this is about this is about three and a fourth cups of that cornmeal. It's very easy. And I'm gonna add about a third of a cup of vegetable oil. You could mix your wets and then add them to your dry. Actually, I was supposed to add this first. 
I'm gonna add a, just a little bit of sugar. That's probably too much for my husband, but I like it. A teaspoon of salt. We're just gonna throw it in there. I'm gonna add three eggs. You could add four. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with three. Let's mix this up. This recipe is a lot simpler because you don't have to add all the other ingredients. And then we're gonna add some buttermilk. And I'm kind of just gonna engage the thickness of it. But you need at least probably two cups. We're also gonna put other ingredients. It's, it's uh, the recipe is, it's called peppered cornbread because it's got some pepper in it. So I should have mixed this with a spatula, I believe. Oh, anyway, I hope you can see this, okay. I may have to add some more buttermilk. I don't want it too thin and I don't want it too thick. You know, you'll know that you, if you're familiar with making cornbread, you know the consistency you're looking for. And it's looking pretty good. You could also add some melted butter for flavor and replace some of the vegetable oil, but I was kind of lazy today in a, in a, and in a hurry. And also we put butter on top sometimes. No, actually I'm gonna put cheese on top today. So now if I was making just a plain cornbread, for the family, I would also put butter, but I'm not. We're not going to be eating it that way. And I'll tell you another way I like chili is uh, with rice. I love it with rice. I'm going to add about half a can of what is this called again? Cream style corn. Not even half, just a little bit, just for creaminess. And I love corn. I could eat it in everything I believe and I wasn't going to add to the chili in the cornbread but I needed to use those corn on the cobs so okay now we're gonna add this is a, a little jalapeno chopped very fine you could totally skip this if you don't want the heat uh, but there's no seeds in no ribs so they're not too hot actually and see that's not that many but this is gonna make the cornbread a pretty color and this is, uh, let me get the cheese over there. These were frozen previously. This is the, some of the red bell pepper that I used in the chili. I'm gonna use some in the cornbread for color and flavor. Could also probably use pimento. Which I think that is pimento. And I'm also gonna add some green onions. Just the, just the tops. I love green onions. I like to put those on a lot of things. And then we're gonna add some cheese. Now I have some cheese that is a, uh, let me get a spatula <clears throat> because this is, it says stuck in here and I need to get that mixed in really well. You don't wanna do that. Okay. And now I have a combination of pepper jack, Monterey jack and cheddar, but my, it's sharp cheddar. And we like to grate our own cheese I, only, uh, I didn't have much pepper jack, so I just threw it in here. But I mixed it all, and I'm gonna, I'm kinda just eyeballing it. That's probably about, let's see, about two cups. I'm just guessing. You kinda put whatever, how much cheese you like. You could use any kind of cheese you want. So I'm going to, use my pot because I can put it in the oven. I'm gonna pour this on top of the chili and then we're gonna throw it in the oven, uncovered. And depending on how thick this is, we should be able to bake it for about, probably about 30 minutes. So let me move the tripod and we'll go back to the pot. Scoop it in. Well, I'll pour some, but sorry about the bad angle. I don't want it to fall in. The chili. It's a little messy, but I think this is going to be the perfect amount. I actually kind of doubled a recipe. I'm trying to cover it. It's okay if some comes through and I have, let me tell you, I'm usually a very neat cook, but today with these recipes, I'm kind of all over the place and a little messy. Okay. 
And like I said, my oven preheated to 400. And I'll also be making some fall desserts for the people that are new. If you want to check out some of my other videos, I have uh, quite a few videos of all different kinds of foods, desserts, Chinese food, Asian food, just good old Southern food. All right, that looks great. Okay, I need to spill on the stuff. Let's sprinkle a little bit more cheese on top. And we're gonna throw this bad boy in the oven. I'm just gonna use what I have right here. You can, you can see most of it was sharp cheddar. You could also put some green onions after it's done, but that's all we're gonna to chop today. So I'll tell you how long it bakes when it you take it is. Out. It took a little bit longer than I expected. I think if you put it like in a, a 13 by nine or nine by, I'm sorry, about, I think it's a bigger pan and spread the cornbread, cornbread out thinner, it doesn't, won't take as long, but it took about 40 minutes and I ended up turning my oven to convection, but I did the, the uh, the plastic knife test to see if it's cooked all the way. And as you can see, it's there's a few moist crumbs on there, but that's okay. So this is so hot right now that I'm just gonna let it, let it settle for a little while. But the chili bubble up around it, which is fine, it's okay with me. But if you wanna prevent that, just make sure you get it all the way to the edges and it still may come up. But I kinda like the look of it, but it smells wonderful. And it looks, uh, I just love, I love cheese and everything in here. So uh, we'll, I'll always do a taste test if you're, if you're new. We'll do a taste test for you. You could top this with sour cream, uh, jalapenos, uh, avocados, whatever you like. Okay, guys, here it is. The cornbread soaked up a lot of the chili. And it's very hot. I filled it with a little sour cream and extra cheese because I love cheese. So let me taste the cornbread first. It's cooked perfectly. It's really good. You just watch it and test it oh and I want to say it's good I want to say you could also use some jiffy I, I really like that cornbread let's try the chili part it's pretty hot still a little sour cream mmm I love it so much. Pinto beans is my favorite, and I love all the spices I used. And it's not too spicy. I added all those jalapenos, but when you take the seeds out, it's not that spicy. So thank you so much, Sophia and Amber, for letting people join in for the fall recipe. I hope you enjoyed my fall recipe. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. I would so appreciate it. And check out my other videos. And uh, what else do I say, Ella? <laughs> Ella's my daughter. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you try this dish. And I will see you soon. Bye. Bye.